I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs> Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. You see, usually I don't talk about Hinduism uh, because for me, I don't feel like it's worth even to talk about it. Uh, it's just a silly cult with a collection of ideas. You don't even know what they believe in. Even the Hindus themselves, they don't know what they believe in. But lately we start seeing um, many uh, Hindu channels attacking Christianity. And I think this is based on fear. That is, they are losing ground and a lot of Hindus, they are, you know, waking up and seeing that Hinduism is just a cult, like any cult. This is a channel. It's called CT Media. C-I-T-T-I -T -T Media. And this channel have tons of videos against Christianity. And the second you hear them, you will die laughing. When I was in... Uh, when I was in Ukraine, I saw a bunch of white people like this woman dancing in the street and uh, Krishna, 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 I tried to talk to them. Hey, Krishna, 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 and they were hitting the drum. There was one man and 20 women with them. So I tried to speak to the man, Krishna, 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 and all of them are white, you know. So I waited, you know, like, and I wait, and actually I was, uh, I have my, uh, I, I have uh, my recording. I was walking in the street, maybe I should pause the video. They don't want to talk to me. Anyway, I wanted to know what this is like, what this is Krishna, like, you know, jumping, dancing, you know, what, what is that is exactly about? I mean, those people, they look so happy, you know, I want to be happy too. So uh, this is how we can be happy. Uh, uh, this is a woman, she will explain to you why uh, Hinduism make her happy. Let us hear a little bit. We will not play much because, you know, those uh, channels, you know, the, the Hindus, I found out that they are worse than Muslims when it's come to flag. You know, they speak too much about accepting like Sadhguru. You know, Sadhguru, we need to fight the bad energy. We need to accept each other. If somebody doesn't agree with you, you do not need to cancel him. We should refuse the culture of cancellation. And then I made a video to show how stupid he, and how hypocrite he is 15 minutes after he reported me to YouTube. So all day long, talking to people about accepting each other, how to learn about peace, sit in your ass and do yoga. And then the second I make a video about him, he go to YouTube, he report me to YouTube of copyright, and bingo, he accept each other. And this is telling you that even the high one of them is not even qualified to be who they are because they lie. Here we have this woman, she will introduce to you Christianity, you know? 
So one of the fundam fundamental concepts of Christianity, it says here in the video, let me show the subtitle. Okay, tell us about it. The idea of sin, right? Mm -hmm. And that we are born, <laughs> you know, as babies, we're born evil. Like there's something innately wrong. With See, so this is this is this is this is the, the kind of uh, uh, lies they present in the, either this woman she is a stupid or she is a stupid or she's a liar. I assume she is a stupid because nobody in Christianity believes that people is born as a evil. Where you can sh show me? Can you show me the verse in the Bible says that? In fact, the Bible says it clearly that the children, the baby Jesus himself, he said, if you don't come or become the same as those little ones, you will not enter the kingdom of my father. So why you are, why do, I mean, who, those are the one, and the, you know, the funny is, the title is ex-Christian. The title is ex-Christian, and people will believe because she is white, European, but those people have never been Christian because you don't even understand what Christianity is about. I mean, this is a very simple sense when in, in Christianity, we teach that a, a child, a baby, is born evil. Where, where you can find that? So this stupid woman, she think that when we believe in the original sin, that we believe that you are born evil. That is false. And you are stupid. And the red dot in the, in, the, in the middle of your head doesn't make you smarter, by the way. It makes you look like a fool. You know, accept each other, accept each other, accept each other. And then we start putting makeup and putting red dots and putting uh, paint in our hair and paint it. So don't worry, you don't accept God how he made you. I mean, this religion, accept yourself, yoga, nature, you know. And, and then we start putting uh, colors in our hair and putting things. And the, the monk, he put 1,000 stamp in his face. Now, what, what is that? Shouldn't we accept how God made us? Do you, do you need to look like a Christmas tree? But anyway. So, and then, you know, a Christianity and Abrahamic belief. I mean, they have tons of videos. If I play for you, they will die laughing. Every single one of those videos, you know, there is something wrong with us as a human being, and we have already been, yeah, into sin. Well, didn't you? <laughs> didn't you? Is it the stupid religion you belong to now? Teaching you that every human being do bad karma and good karma? I mean, who, I mean look, look at the stupidity. So there is something wrong in Christianity. It teach you that you are born into sin, which is false. We don't believe in that. You know, sin is something can be done only by something he knew what sin is, you idiot. So how baby is born into sin? God judge you only if you understand what are you doing, which means even if you are adult and you are crazy, God will not judge you the same. Even if you are 70 years old, and you have a brain of two-month-old baby, God will not judge you the same. That is a Christianity. This is why Jesus said, from their fruits, you shall know them. So what is the fruit of a, of a, of a baby? His poop? Fertilizer? So this is their silliness, and this is how they attack a Christianity. And then they say to you, like, we are different. No, you are not. Aren't you the one who teach that if somebody did a bad karma, he will be an, a cockroach? Another video of them. Ex-Christian. All of them, they are ex-Christian, by the way. Okay. I have to accept that. Ex-Christian. The Abrahamic oh. religions are very, I would say, more dogmatic and set in the idea that there's one way, right? There's one path. I don't know why and if you're not on that path, then you... Hold on. I don't know why the image is not playing. So there is the Abrahamic religion, brother and Tatar, says there is only one way. Well, do you have many ways in your religion? The Abraham. Huh? Do you see the problem with Abrahamic religion? There is only one way. Let us see the way, how many ways we have. Abrahamic religions are very, I would say, more dogmatic and set in the idea that there's one way, right? There's one path. And if you're not on that path, then you are going to be you know, damned to hell or to suffering, right? Whereas there's no such concept within within Sanatana Dharma. And I think that that in itself is very liberating for a lot of people. I think a lot of <laughs> Liberating. This is exactly what we are talking about, evil. Because it's liberating is what you are seeking. You don't want to have a consequence. 
Do you know that in the Hindu religion, if a man, he had sexual relationship with a woman, she is not his wife, it's okay. Do you know? Liberating. So do this woman accept that her husband is a Hindu and he go around to sleep with 1,000 women and he come home. The wife, the wife in Hinduism, she have to be righteous. Listen carefully. The wife, she have to be righteous. The man should not. The man have no obligation to be righteous with his wife. He can sleep with as many. And you know, some they might say to you, like, oh, what this guy is talking about? That's not true. Let us open the Hindu website. Not a Muslim website, not a Christian website, not a, you know? No. <clears throat> Okay. Oh. <laughs> I will post the link for you. So if you are a Hindu, because I know they will start saying he's a liar. That's not true. This is false. Let me post the link. Hindu-website.com. This is not. Christian website, this is Hindu official website. And they are quoting for you even the name, they have like a number for the law, the, the, law, the Hindu law. This is not my law, the Hindu law. I just post the link for you, you can open it. Hindu Dharama does not, uh, does not regard sexual intercourse as evil or sinful act in itself, no problem. But essential and, and, and uh, integral aspect of nature, okay, no problem. Uh, reservation of the dharma, enjoying sexual pleasure, kar, uh, karma, is one of the main aims of the householder's life, okay. However, it must be done responsibly, in larger interest of the harama. Accordingly, some type of sexual conduct and relationship are permissible. But what does that mean? Let us go down a little bit. You can read yourself. I don't want to just waste your time. From this perspective, the law book often leave the decision establishing sexual relationship to personal choice and will. You, you decide if this is a good karma or bad karma. You find a woman, you jump on her. As long as she take off her skirt, why not? And then he continue here saying, while a married woman have an obligation to live righteously and remain faithful to their husbands, men were not objected to same standard. Do you see it? People, do you see it? I post the link for you and they have the number of the law. Manu something. People, do you see it? The women, the women, she have an obligation. The women, she have an obligation to do to what? To be righteous to her husband. She can't go and sleep around. But Mr. Gandhi can go and F every woman in the street. Mrs. Gandhi, she cannot. sound like Muhammad. Nobody can F his wives, he can F everybody wife. Or every woman in the street, she agree. Now read carefully. Men were not subjugated to the same standard. Question. As long as the religion teach you good karma. And karma is really, it's so, a so word mean action, supposedly. Action. So now this guy, he have a penis. And his karma is focused there. You know, he have a religion. His religion says, my wife, she have to stay home. She cannot go and sleep around. I have a, I have a good religion. However, my religion 
my good karma allowing me to go and have sex around. This is why we see, you know, a lot of uh, men, they leave their country, they are sex tourists. And you see, uh, uh, in their videos, they will show you that Christianity is based on guilt. Guilt, repent. Guilt and repent. Well, guilt and repent is you judging your fruits. What's wrong with that? So you encourage people not to repent. So they are saying to you, Christianity is evil. Christianity is bad because Christianity make you feel bad about what you did. Come to uh, to Hinduism. It is liberation. You f around. Now, if we go and ask this woman, does she have a dot in her hair in her face? What do you think if your husband, Mister, and you marry a, his, a Hindu husband, and he come back home, and he told you today I slept with a woman? What you will say to him? Shame on you. This is his religion. His religion. It says he can't do it. This is alone is enough to teach me. That this is not even a cult. It's a sexual cult. Discriminate between the man and the women. <clears throat> you know, if God, he created man, and he want to teach man good manner, then how in the world you teach the women to be a good manner, but the man, he have no manner? How the man, he have no the same obligation? What on earth? Such a teaching is based on. And that goes for everything in this Hindu cult. Women, they are not equal to men. They don't have even the same obligation as wife and husband. If I want to go over, I mean, if you go over that website, which is a Hindu website, you will die laughing. Do you know that a woman in Hinduism, she cannot, she is not allowed to be independent and she needs a guardian. Well, isn't it the same as Muhammad, he said? Men are in charge of women because they spend money on them. Women, she have to be always guarded. Young or old. And if the husband die, she is under the command of her son. A woman must never be independent. She must not separate, seek to separate herself from her father, husband, or sons by leaving them. She would uh, make both her own and her husband, family, etc. And then we continue. You see, even they are showing you the law number. It's a manu. Manu? Is it Manu or Manu? I don't know what is that. 5, 147, 149. The same excuses the Muslims they give to abuse women. It's the same excuses in your religion. You see, if I'm reading an article written by somebody anti-Hindu, I would say, I need to check this out to see if this is true or not. But as you see, this is their website, and this is their, they're explaining it in a nice way. And here you see something very weird. That Hindus, they have a punishment for somebody he steal. A, a person who steal a woman.
Did anyone notice what's wrong with this uh, statement? Anyone notice what's wrong with this statement? Stealing a woman? Why she's a watch? I mean, I say kidnapping, say raping, but those who steal women, they, do, they steal what? They steal women. And supposedly here, they are talking about protecting women. But yet they are talking about stealing women as if she's a watch or iPad or a TV or a bike. So you steal a woman, there is a punishment for you, by the way, because she is owned by somebody else. I'm not expert with the, the Hindu madness, Hindu cult madness. The law book also imposed restriction upon women's freedoms and their movement in public pro to protect them from other men against temptation and the chances of physical harm or sexual advances. I mean, look at the hypocrisy. In one hand, they just said that a man, he is married, he can seek. He have no obligation. To stop him from seeking his sexual pleasure outside their marriage. Do you see it? Men were not subjugated to the same standard. They were not completely forbidden from seeking sexual pleasure outside their marriage from free women and consistent. So a woman, she agree. It's okay. Okay, hold on. So in one hand, you say that the man go around and go in the street and start flirting with women, and the women, she agree with you, you take her to bed, and there's no guilt. In the other hand, you say, <laughs> the law imposed restriction upon women, freedom, and their movement in public. To protect them from other men. Why you don't protect them from other men by saying to men, shame on you? You just give the men freedom to seek sexual relationship with everybody. Do you understand, guys, what I'm saying? You just give the man total freedom to go and seek sexual relationship with any woman as long as she agree. As long? She agree. Okay. In the other hand, they are saying to the women, you stupid women, you stay home, okay? Because if you go out, somebody will get you. So why you speak against the burqa and against hijab and against the Muslim, etc.? You are doing the same. You don't have the format of a clothing, but you restrict the women from even moving. She can't be independent. She cannot move a freedom. She is not free to go wherever she wants. And she has to protect herself from uh, temptation. And the chances of physical harm of sexual advance or sexual advances. They lay down that married women shall not meet or speak to other men. This is Muslims. <laughs> Look, married women, she cannot seek and talk to other men. But married man, he can F other women. Do you see it? Not only he can speak, he can F them. Excuse my language. This is a religion? I mean, isn't it this is enough to prove to us that this is stupid cult? Sick cult. This is a religion made for the man. Same as Islam. You know, Islam is religion made by the man for the man. And here you are telling the women you have to behave. In the same time, look how, she, how the women she will behave. And here they are talking about married women. So if you are a single woman, look what happened now. A married man, we have a married man. We're not talking about singles yet. Single, he can do whatever he wish. That's it. He's single. Because even the married man, he can do whatever he wants, as you see. 
So married women, she have to be righteous. But what about a single woman? She's free too. Because as you see here, it says, men, oh, we are not subjugated to the same standard. What the same standard? Read in the top. Let us go up. The law book, if you go up here, You can read, the main aim, purpose of household life is to have sexual pleasure. Is that really the main, I mean, well, this is Muta then. Kama Sutra, oh, I forgot Kama Sutra is coming from you. This is what Muhammad, he taught Muta. The main purpose of Muta is a sexual pleasure. So now what we have, the Muslims, they have uh, the word muta, the Hindus, they have the word kama. Do you see it, kama? We learn something new with the word. Really. Yeah, I, now I became an expert, kama. I want to study kama. So, which women would like to be part of a religion that the husband he can go sleep around and bring AIDS and all kind of disease with him to her and she have no guilt or a belief which is a Christianity that the women and the man both of them they have to be sincere and no cheating ever which one equal obligation In Christianity, adultery is adultery. It doesn't matter who do it. Male or female, doesn't matter. What kind of religion? Righteousness goes only for women. She has to be right. If she is married, what if she is not? Or she goes deep around. With who? With married men. Where is the morality and where is the, where is the ethic? Where is your good karma? Is that a good karma? Is it a good karma for a married woman? She is a Hindu. To go and sleep with married men? Because now both of them, they agree. I mean, what kind of logic this logic is? You know, when I say stupidity is amazing, I have my reason. Prove me wrong. The reason I say stupidity is amazing because how a human being, he reached the point of such a stupidity and low ethic to the point he make it as a law. It's not only now a statement in the article of somebody is mentally ill, this is the law of religion. A woman, she must be never ever independent. Why? Isn't this the same country they have a woman, she was a prime minister one day? So who was running the government? The husband then. If the woman, she cannot never be independent, then we hire a woman to be a prime minister in India, and then the husband, he rule. Because as you see, a woman, she must never be. In. So uh, this woman, Gandhi, if she go alone, what will happen? She's a bad Hindu now. If Gandhi decided to live in her apartment alone, she is a bad woman. And the women she have always to have a dog guarding her. This is exactly what we see in Islam. The women, they need a guardian. Chapter 4, verse number 34. And the man, he can beat his wife. I do not need really to continue to show you how stupid this religion is, if we can call it a religion. But this is beyond acceptance of anyone. Maybe some men, they will like it because, okay, he now, you know what, he can go sleep around and will never feel guilty. A pervert man, he will love it. 
pervert man, he will love it. It's a man man society. Before we start today, there was a guy, he's a Hindu. I don't know if he left. Because this is what happened usually. The second I go live, they disappear. They try to make Hinduism is something, is a godly religion. Like, you know, in the Hindu, he said, like God in the Hindu before Christianity said that you cannot see him. My friend, what are you talking about? Isn't it your God become a rat? Isn't it? So what do you mean we cannot see your God? You know, when you see this guy, Sad Guru, sitting and talking and, you know, like, uh, you know, if we, if we try to consult this uh, a person who, you know, he tried to be, the, you know, the word guru. The word guru itself is, is explaining the whole story. He's the guru, which means all of them, they are stupid and he is the only smart one. He is the guru. your karma. This means your life is your making. There is no manager sitting... I'm not talking about you guys <laughs> There's no manager sitting up there and managing you. Your life is your karma. This is same stupid guy, he spoke about destiny before. And he is the same stupid guy. I mean, I have a video about this bad karma and good karma before. This is the same one he reported. <laughs> your life is your manage, but you are telling people you can go and sleep around. As long your life is your manage, why you make a law, and this law is encouraging married men to go to sleep around and say this is no obligation to you. Remember, aren't you you're the one who says your life is your karma? and your karma is your action, and there's no manager. So why you are saying there's a law from the manager, from God, saying that in a woman she have obligation to be righteous, but the man, the married man, he can go and sleep around. At least let him decide by himself, like a hippie. But now you are not letting him to know, or not helping him to know, that this is a bad karma, this is a evil karma, you are telling him this is a good thing, this is your right to practice. And here we see that in Hinduism, they manipulate the bad and they color it by good. This is exactly what Muhammad did. So now a man, he sleep around. If we ask them, based on the law, is he doing a bad karma or good karma? This is not a bad karma. Bad action, stupid word. Because we just taught the man you are not subjugated to the same standard. Which standard? That you have to be faithful. I mean, look how evil is this the cult is. I am saying to the man, you are not obligated to, to be faithful. I mean, do you have a shame? You are not subject to the word faithful. This doesn't go for you. This is go for the women, the wife. Women, and married women only. So if we have a single woman, she can go and sleep around. And that can explain how, how much of a sexual society this society will be. That will destroy the whole society. Because, you know, having uh, a man who is unfaithful in his marriage, he will be unfaithful in everything. A man, he cannot be faithful to his wife, he cannot be faithful to anything. 
This is his own house. It's like somebody is doing poop in his home. He make his home as a sewage. If you can't be clean inside your house, or you can't be clean anywhere. And then we go to other evil, the skull teach. See in their videos, they said that the Christian they teach there is only one way. The, the, the bad the Christians, they are bad, you know? They teach there is only one way. Hmm. A lot of people rebel against their religion being raised in these faiths because their context is very much based in fear. And so in Christianity and the, those stupid people, they think Islam is Abrahamic. Islam is not Abrahamic. So they are saying to you that you are rebellion against your religion, many like her maybe, because your religion is based on fear. Well, isn't it your stupid religion says if you have a bad karma, God will make you a cockroach? Is that a fear? Do you fear to be a cockroach? I mean, do you see the do you see the hypocrisy of this religion? Do you see how they lie? Secondly, if our belief is based on fear, so why we call God our Father? And when we speak about one way, isn't it you just saying in the same video that Hinduism is the only way? And this is why you are speaking against Christianity and the Abrahamic faith? <laughs> you know, I found actually a smart Hindu. He's a, a priest. He's a smart. So somebody asked him, is Jesus the only way to God? Is Jesus is the only way to God. Let us listen to this guy. <clears throat> I have a friend who is connected with a Christian preacher who says that actually Jesus, Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven and Hinduism is a lie of the devil. So somebody is saying, to... somebody is asking, is Hinduism, is uh, India is racist? Hinduism is racist, yeah. Don't you know that there is a casting system? Don't you know that there is almost 200 million in India? They are untouchable. Untouchable, do you know what that means? You cannot touch them because they are filthy according to the Hindu belief. It will take you two minutes to search it. Just go search for untouchable people. You know what, as long as you mention, speaking about racism, let me do it. The untouchable. What a shame. Here we go. And I will post the link for you. And this is National Geographic. Check everything to be true or not. India, untouchable, violence, discrimination. And this is 2000, what? 2003 article. So by now there is more than 200 million for sure, or even more. More than 160 million in 2003, as you see the article. They are untouchable. Why? Because the Hindu believe, believe that those people are the lowest than dogs. By birth, they did not do anything. You did not do anything. You are just born into such a group of people, they are called, they have a name for them in Indian. I forgot the name, I can search uh, for it. Um, actually, I think in the article later you will see it. So those people, just because they are born from this group of people, they are treated like dogs. You can kill them and there's no crime for doing that. You can rape their women. More than 160 million people in India are considered untouchable. People tainted by their birth into caste system that deems them impure, less than a human. This is exactly the Quran. Those who they are not from us, they are najis, they are filthy. 
Therefore, they cannot enter into the Holy Land. That's why the Muslims in Saudi Arabia, they have a, a, a sign in the highway. It says Muslim only. Do you see it? Human rights abuse against those people known as Dalitis. Dalitis. This is their name. Go search it, everyone, for you. Don't listen to this website. Maybe they are lying. This is National Geographic. It's not Christian, or actually, it does attack Christianity, too. So, uh, they are called Dalitis. 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 They kill them. They rape them. They are casted out of society. They are considered the trash of this earth. Dalit women gang rape. Parted naked. Police egg them on mob of flame deltis. Deltis are not allowed to drink from the same wells. I mean, do you see how nice the spiritual religion of Hinduism? I love it. I love it. And you will see those people, they are talking about spirituality and let us do yoga. Those who do yoga, they are stupid actually. Yoga teaching you how to be selfish, how to be evil, how to concentrate on yourself and forget the whole world around you. I'm not against the sport, by the way. If yoga is a sport, do any sport you want, any sport, walk, you know, jump. Sport is good. But we are not talking about sport. We are talking about you focusing yourself to be selfish. And here we go. Now we focus on spirituality and the way you cast hundreds of millions like dogs. And we rape their women and they cannot allow to drink from the same well of water we drink from. They cannot attend the same temple. And they are Hindus, by the way. Those are Hindus. They cannot even wear shoes in the presence of an upper caste. Like, what the heck? Or a drink from the same cup. And this is coming from a human rights watch. Crime against them. They are showing you how many people every year. In the last year, for which figure were available, 25,455 25, crimes were committed against those people. Every two hours, there's one of them is assaulted. Every day, three women, they are raped. Every day two of them are murdered every day there is two the, the, the two houses are torched so they try to present for you you see i i focus i focus in islam because i study islam etc and hindu is really stupid even to talk about it but when I see a channels are made just to attack our faith, it's time to respond. And you cannot refute us because as you see, we are not showing an article written by us. This is a pure evil. And not only that, the police, by the way, if you report for them, if you are from these people, you report to the police, they are killing me. They will not even come. So what? Hindus believe a person is born into one of four castes based on karma. 
You see, you see, you know, like the women she was saying, this is stupid women. She was saying that Christianity teaching you that you are born into sin. Is that correct? Which is false. And this is why she don't like it. She said Hinduism liberate you, but they are the one who believe in that. Not only believe that you are born to sin, you are born into a caste system. There is four level. There's high and there's trash by birth. Those who they are born into the Brahmas, Brahmans, are priests and teachers. Those are the highest. Or like higher. Kashtariyas are rulers and soldiers. Visayayas are merchants and traders. Sudaras are laborers within the four caste or thousands of sub of caste, a caste. So do you see the discrimination of the society? So every, every floor have a thousands of sub floor. All of it discriminate you by birth. Denied by profession, region, dialect, and other factor. Untouchable are literally outcast. The fifth group. They are the fifth group. That is so unworthy it does not fail within the caste system. It's also based in religious principle practiced for the some 1500 years, uh, 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 for the last 1500 years. Crime against women. They hit them, they beat them, they rape them. Read. Read and see how disgusting this cult. So they speak too much about the spirituality. And those, you know, funny European people, they sit in the front of Sadhguru like a bunch of idiots. You know, you remember the, uh, uh, the movie, it's called The Love Guru? Anyone remember it? The Love Guru? The love guru is teaching you how stupid those Europeans who said they're like, like, wow. The guy is saying stupid things. Wow. <laughs> the love guru. This is how I see those, you know, specifically the white people. I see them in that, in that movie. The guru who want to teach you how to work with your penis. And a bunch of white people, they are saying, wow. Man, that's so good. That's so touching. This is exactly how I, how I see those people who they are from Europe coming, or anyone. But I, the, the most funny ones, I see them as the European, you know? Because you don't actually see from other places anyone except this cult. You, accept, you, you see only white people. I don't know what's wrong. Vacancy, you know, there's vacancy inside them. They are looking for just a change. So did I answer you about discrimination? The, the Hindu who was in the chat, he said, you know, in India there's discrimination. This is the country of discrimination. You discriminate your own. You have five groups.
And not to forget to mention the evil practice of the Hindu religion, which is burning the wife when the husband pass away. When the husband, he pass away, the wife is burned alive. And that explains why in that website they were saying, stealing a wife, because, you know, we burn him with his property, you know, we burn him with the chair, with his address, with his anything belong to him. So we put the wife in the top of the, you know, the wood, and we burn the wife. That is called sati, the practice. Sati. And this is an article here about it. And by the way, anything we say here, it is up to you to go and question it and check if this is true or not. And actually, I think this is a university from India explaining. And this is the link. Anything I just say to you, I'm posting a link for it. Anything I show you, I'm posting a link for it. The beach so nobody will say oh this is not true oh this is false where do you get this from oh this is fabrication nothing we mention is not shown in the screen with proofs from their own Let us see, where is the National Geographic website that I posted? Uh, I'm trying to find the website I open. Yeah, here we go. Oh, not this one. Yeah, this one actually. Actually, this is the same website here. Uh, okay, and this is this is again. This is the National Geographic website. Please save the reference. So, if we, if somebody says to you where he got this from, where he's showing you, this is a lie. It's not true. It's in the front of your eyes. Nothing we are saying from our own. And you can go right now and do your own search. You know, never, never take what people say to you for granted. It doesn't matter how much you trust them. You have always to do your own search and do your own study so you can be 100% sure, not depending on somebody say, she or he say. So do I need really even to explain more how evil this cult is? Isn't it this is enough really? Anyone here is a Hindu. You don't agree with me that casting people under the trash is evil? Anyone here is a Hindu don't agree with me that saying that the man he have no obligation to be righteous is evil? Women, she cannot be independent, but the man, he can sleep around even if he's married. is evil. And then you go around and you are talking about bad energy and good energy. So the penis energy of a married man is a good karma? Why the guy who have a wife, he want to go and he have, he is not obligated. He is not obligated to be righteous. What kind of God does God is? The man is not subjugated to be righteous. The woman she is subjugated to be righteous. This is disgusting. I don't accept that as a man. And I'm sure women, they will not accept such a garbage. This is bad for society. This is bad for ethic. And that explains all the garbage will happen in the society. Gang rape. 
gang rape because sexual uh, uh, pleasure, pleasure in, in Hinduism have a concept that it's okay as long as there's a consensus, like, you know, they agree. But then they go far by go and rape as long you are from the caste system, as long you are from what they call them, the Delti. We go rape them. Those are the lowest. This is what Islam teach. They can go and rape Christians and Jews and Hindus and Buddhas. And I find it very funny how they try to explain themselves. Look at this guy here. Let us show you this guy. This guy is the wise between them. To this answer, who says that? Uh, I have a friend who is connected with a Christian teacher who says that actually Jesus, Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven and Hinduism is a lie of the devil. So how do we respond to this? Answer, we see such propaganda as a misconception created by the influence of Tamoguna, by the influence of ignorance. See guys, the one who says such a thing, this is, uh, you know, by the influence of ignorance. And he is the wise one who is teaching his followers that we have five level of people. There's high, lower, 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 and lowest. And supposedly he is not the ignorant. And he is the one who teach that women, they have to be jail at home, and they cannot be independent. And this is not under the influence of the ignorance. And he is the one who teach that a man, he can sleep around, even if he is married. And this is not the influence, under the influence of the stupidity of Hinduism. But the one who says that Hinduism is evil, this is under the influence of ignorance. Why? You only burn the women alive. Isn't it? This is evil. She did not do anything. At least if she did something, at least if she did commit a crime, tell us what is a crime. Just because the husband, he died. When you put 200 millions under your shoes and you rape their women, is that your intelligence or your ignorance? And the funny is that they say to you, as we heard Sad Guru saying, that you are the one who manage your life. There's no manager up there, but you are the one who manage the caste system. You decide before I was born that I will be casted into a floor. I do not know yet who is my father before I was born. I am born of this father and this mother. Now I found that this father and this mother are from the lowest society. Not because they choose to be there, but they themselves, they are casted there by birth. And then they lie to you and they say, oh, you know, you have... Uh, to be controlling your bad karma. You just decide that they are bad. What karma? Guys, do you understand what I'm saying? You just decided that they are bad. They are not born yet. This is disgusting. Do you see how they contradict themselves? In one hand, sit down, sit in your ass, relax, close your eyes. Now you feel the energy coming from your belly button. Say the word that the horror. Now you he feel it. Now it's going through you. Now, don't forget before you leave to pay the tuition for the yoga. I just remember. Now we go back. And now, all of us, we relax. 
I want all women to put their ass up. No, not that direction. Face me, please. Yes. And now relax. And the guru is staring at everyone ass. This is religion. I want to teach yoga, by the way. I think I'm qualified. I want to make you rise your ass as much as you like. Unbelievable. So in the garbage, they say it is nothing but a hypocrisy. In their society, they do everything the opposite of what they see by their mouth as guru. So this guy now is going to get you busted. A Christian guy told a Hindu guy, by the way, I think they fabricate even the questions, the same as the Muslims. The Muslim, they have a TV station. They call this guy, his name, use this estate. Have you ever, have you ever seen a TV station? They have a cell phone. People call the cell phone and nobody, and he, and he don't put the speaker. So you don't hear even the question. So he answered, hello. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, brother. Uh-huh. Ah, uh-huh. Okay, okay. So he's saying, we Christians, uh, we don't like Islam. Okay, how you can answer that? So obviously fabricate the question, you know? So, I mean, let us hear the guy at least. So now this is the same. Uh, uh, a person, he says to a Hindu guy that uh, Hinduism is evil and the only way is Jesus Christ. Okay. Tell us more. In general, every religion has certain statements which are exclusivist. So broadly, if you look at the statements in the religions, they can be said to be exclusivist, pluralist and inclusivist. Exclusivist means I, my way is the only way. And these sort of statements are given primarily to kindle faith in the followers. So yes, Jesus did say that I am the way and none shall go to, I am the light the way and none shall go to the Father except through me. So now this statement, if there are some scholars, some Christian scholars themselves who admitted, if we go back to the Hebrew of the statement, then there is a significant word there which indicates present which means presently uh, guys it's a hebrew word you stupid this is in a greek book somebody tell the donkey that this was in a greek book so brother and sisters in the original text brother in the hebrew words brother they took it off the christian they took it off they took it off they took it off give me give me the eraser give me the eraser i take it off take it off jesus he says presently presently now now what They took it off. Presently, presently. I mean, look how deep this is conversation, brother. This, this is the, if this is the priest. essentially study that I am presently the only way. Yes, for his audience, he was the teacher. He was the guru. And the guru... He was a guru. Hey, Christians, your Jesus was a guru. Uh-huh. <laughs> It's stupid, he did not know that the Christian believed that Jesus is God. <laughs> what guru? <laughs> I'm going not to pray to the Father no more. I'm going to say, our guru, art of heaven. <laughs> He's a guru. I love it. <laughs> what made fun is we have this guy live for us. We will die laughing. Unbelievable. So Jesus was a guru. Really? And he was, he's saying in the present. But didn't he say, no? Okay. How in his present? I will go with the stupidity of this guy. Let us say, in his present, Jesus, he said, in his present, this is the word they took it from the Bible, brother. Even the Hindus, they are attacking the Bible, says corrupt. <laughs> so there was, a, there was a word in Hebrew. Says in present, okay, I will go with you. But when Jesus came in the present, Hinduism was exist, you idiot. So if this is what Jesus meant, you just destroy the Hinduism. 
Because Jesus, he just said, I am the only one. <laughs> That's mean. Our guru got you busted. <laughs> People, do you understand what I just said? Do you understand what I just said? Like, suppose this guy is smart. You know, this is the smartest of them. Yeah, Jesus is talking about that time in the present. At that time, Hindus will exist too. Idiot. So if Jesus says, at that time, in the present of that time, brother, I am the only way. That's mean at that time, you Hindus are wrong. And still, he is the only way. So adding the word in present or in the past or tomorrow doesn't change anything. I mean, where do stupid people come to me from? Stupidity is a pain. You see, if you are stupid, you live happy, honestly. If you are stupid, you see nothing, you hear nothing, you understand nothing, you are happy. But when you see the stupidity in this earth, you die from anger because you feel sorry for mankind. This is your refutation now to the Christians? You know, this is why we say debate is not a skills only. Debate is knowledge, is trust, is faith, and confidence. On the top of that, God, he gave you answers. And that's why we beat the hell of everybody who try to argue with us. And nobody can win. It doesn't matter what religion he belonged to. And we show everybody there is stupidity from their own words. He just admitted that Jesus in the present, he said that Hinduism is false. For I am the only way. Additional to that, when a person who never spoke a word in the language of the Bible is trying to tell you what use the Bible used to have, shouldn't we ask him, do you even did you even read the book? You said in the you said in the Hebrew. This this verses exist in which book? Do you know? <laughs> Unbelievable. Stupidity is amazing. Stupidity is really amazing. And if we play the rest of the video, it's the same stupid garbage. So, my friends, I do not need to continue. God, if you don't teach ethic, and ethic goes for both, male and female. This is not God. This is a male God. This is a penis God. Why the women, she have to be righteous, and the man he can sleep around. I did not even read there. I mean, I just got little knowledge from their stupid website. I'm not a person who have degrees in the stupidity of Hinduism. I went to their website. This is alone is enough to prove to us that this is man-made religion, made for the sake of the man, to take advantage of others. And then this man, he decided to divide the society into floors, and everybody take advantage of the lower floor. And every floor have thousands of subfloors. That alone is enough to prove to us that Hinduism is evil. Not only it is a cult. And no hard feeling if you are a Hindu, you listen to Christian Prince always. I don't care really if you are going to be upset or not. I'm just saying the truth to you. There is no way God who created, you see Christianity teach that God created Adam and Eve. And all of us, we are children of God. In the mean, not physically, 
in the mean that he loves us all equally. And there's no one is cast except the individual who will be cast in hell for his bad crimes. Not because he is black or white, not because he is an Indian or European, because he was bad. Evil. And what this is we see in front of us is a pure evil. Painted by a red dot in the middle of your face, claiming that to be a guru. But in fact, you are teaching discrimination. This is a hatred. This is a discrimination. This is evil. This article written, if we try now to see the untouchable in India, oh, what is the number now? It might be, maybe somebody can make a search. 2003, from the human right, there were 160 millions. At that time, India, I think it used to be 800 million or 700 million. That is a big number. I mean, it's a big number even if it's six, six people. But we are talking about number at that time is now the size, the half of the size of USA as population. This is alone is enough to prove to me that Hinduism is satanic. God did not make you born with golden keys to be high. All of you, you do poo-poo. All of you, you piss. All of you, you commit sin. All of you, you do wrong and right. So why you judge them by bare birth for no crime they did? And maybe you do not know that the one from the fourth floor, he don't marry from the one from the fourth, uh, th uh, third floor. No, we cannot marry. But the only thing I like about this religion, really, I'm thinking to convert now, that I can marry and I can sleep around, and my wife, maybe she will, uh, she will find me some girls. MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah, I sound like Muhammad now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, hey, Khabibi, honey, do you like me to for the find you for single, you know, some single girls? Yes, I find me some single girls because today I ought, I ate too much hot spices and I feel hot. This is not religion. This is not godly. This is not spiritual. This is evil. But this is the only part I like about it, actually. You know, like, <clears throat> I'm thinking about it now. I'm being tempted now. Mm, men are not subjugated to the same standard, which is what? To be faithful. I hate this part, brother. I mean, come on. You get married in Christianity and you have to be faithful. Enough is enough. It's time to be a Hindu. It's time to be not subjugated for faithful things. That's it. Brother, let us be liberated. Now I know why the country have a liberal party. Uh, they want to do abortion. They don't even know their gender. They are liberated, brother, liberated. So this woman was in the video saying that People who they are from the Abrahamic faith, they want to be liberated. Liberated from what? You go sleep around. Do this woman even knows what is written there? I assure you she does not know. Anyway, I hope we cover this topic. How many of you are they promised me to download this video? Because as you see, the Hindus, sadly, they are putting their nose in something they don't understand, and they are attacking Christianity falsely, and they are bringing those weird women uh, from Europe who became Hindus, putting that dot in their face, saying stupid things is not true about Christianity. Christianity, my friend, is about love. Jesus, he ordered the man to love his wife the same as a Christ. He loved the church. She is not a goat. She is not a car. And he have to be righteous 
not only her. A religion who teach that only women can be righteous to her husband, first is unfair, secondly it's a stupid. Why? Because why she will be? She see her husband sleeping around, why she will not sleep around? What is your logic? And why the husband is free from the leech and you put a leash on her? If you consider them both animals, let them go have sex. Well, both they can have sex. Sleep around. And then why you believe in marriage? There is couple, German, married, Indian, Hindu, and was thinking as all following culture and tradition, but was rejected in temple. Well, I don't know what you mean, Mr. Rick. Reich. What, what do you mean culture? We are talking here about religion. This is a law. I'm not showing here culture. This is not culture. Even they are showing you the number of the law of the Hindus. I'm not showing an article. This is not an opinion. What we see in the screen is not culture. This is the teaching of the religion. They are showing you the number of the law in their book, the name of it, and this is not a culture. As you see, everything have a number. So we are not talking about the culture. Culture is, you know, is a, a group of people, they, they practice or become part of their practice. One, somebody practice it, and then they dress, they copy. We are talking about somebody believe that this is godly. So we, are, we do not need to mix between this and that. There's a huge difference. And actually, this is telling you that in Hinduism, there is no marriage. What marriage? This is not marriage. It's an open, this is open marriage from the side of one side. This is open marriage from one side. The man, he can sleep around. The woman, she cannot. And you will notice here that some Hindus now, they will be upset. CP stick to Islam, I stick whatever I want my finger, my friend. Is that hurting you? SP? Caste is not a race. The law you talked about are not set in our teaching. They are secular and made by rules. First of all, this is false. That is false. People, they can make little search and they will find that this is, when you say, look, let me, let me show you what this guy, he just said. <clears throat> Caste is not race. It's not race. It is caste. You claim that those people, they are cast into a floor, and they are the lowest. And this is racism, because racism, you know, it, like we use the word racism for everything about discrimination usually. But now you made them as if they are a race, and you are higher and they are lower. The laws you, are, you talk about is not set in our teaching. They are secular and made by rulers. What do you mean rulers? This is the book of the Hindus, and this is your Hindu website. What rulers?
This is what you teach in your temple, and you are telling me those are the rulers? And if this is the rulers, why you don't change it? Why you don't go against it? Why you have it for the last 1,500 years? We are talking about something that exists for the last 1,500 years until now. Until now, where is your priest? If this is against your belief, where is your priest? Fifteen hundred years. It says here, also based on religious principles. So you lied. You lied. And the one who wrote this article is an Indian Hindu. Why they lie? Do you deny that there is a, a group of people that are called the Brahma? And they are high? Can you? I noticed that they are doing the same as Muslims. We show them a hadith. They say it's da'if. So now this is da'if. This is da'if a human right. People, they can go right now and they can search for what we are showing the screen. If it's true, it's true. If it's not, people will laugh. Is that fair, guys? We are living today in the world where, you know, you can receive a million answer in a click of a bomb. Not your bomb, the keyboard. Because I know you are doing yoga now. Leave your bomb alone. High and low, and you know, in this um, uh, in this Hindu uh, 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 channel, they say uh, uh, a woman. She said, "Christianity, the Bible says, uh, and you know, uh, Jesus said, I will make you a fisherman.' Do you know how Jesus he fish you? He tell us, tell us. She said by the book. Oh. Is that bad? <laughs> by the Bible." Supposedly, they are attacking us, guys. I mean, stupidity is amazing. So, this is brothers and sisters. Do you know how the Bible, do you know how Jesus, he said, Jesus, he said to his followers, I will make you fisher, but not fisher for fish, fisher for men. Yeah. Do you know how he fish you? How, how? Tell us, Hindu girl. Tell us. He fish you by the book, the Bible. So, why you have a book yourself? How you fish people? How this woman, she got a red dot in her face? Is that because she was, there's a, she was hooked as a fish in the wrong place, not in her lips? My friend, Kat, you do not need to speak to me, my friend. I am here to respond to this attack in Christianity. Everything they are saying there is a lie. And enough is enough. And if they continue lying about Christianity, I will make a channel just for Hindus. I'm not a stupid person. I can give a time in my life every day just to read and make videos. And trust me, you are no match. You are no match in every way, in every mean. But this video alone is enough to prove to every single Christian who somebody can fool him 
with the yoga thing. Yoga, sit down, relax. You see, Sadhguru? Okay, we have to learn, accept each other. And then he report me in YouTube for after 15 minutes. It's not even 15 minutes. You don't believe in original sin? You believe in it too. But you believe in it strongly. Look what you did. You believe that there is people, they are born into a floor. We believe that all of us belong to one floor. <laughs> You see the Hindus, I mean the Hindus, I love them by the way, I love Indian people. Look, you see the IQ, the IQ is a gift. But sometimes your belief is going to have an influence of your IQ. You don't believe in original sin. We believe in original sin that there is one man, his name is Adam, he commits sin and he's our father. That's mean all of us, we have the nature of him. And this is proving to be true. Have you ever seen someone is born of Adam, he is not a sinner? He don't do bad? Have you? Original sin, not like in the Hindu video, they said that you are born with evil when you're baby. That's false. Jesus, he said even, you cannot enter the kingdom of my father unless you become like those little ones. Simply why? Because the Bible say clearly that in order to go to hell, you have to be a sinner. And in order to be a sinner, you have to know what sin. This is why we can read in First John chapter 3. Whosoever commits sin, transgress also the law. For sin is a trans transgression of the, of the law. So, a child, he cannot transgress because he cannot even read the law. <laughs> what law? This is, this is a baby. So, they lie about us and they claim that those are Christians because obviously they are not. If they are a Christian, they will understand what original sin is. Original sin does not mean you are born and you have tons of sin in your diaper. That is not original sin. The one who taught you that is an idiot. And this woman here, she presents stupidity for me. Because not a single Christian believes in that. You are born evil. That's false. So, at least when you want to bring somebody to speak against Christianity, at least be honest. Say something you don't like, it's true. Be truthful in what you say. You are acting the same as the Muhammad and fabricating lies about Christianity. And then what? In the other video, they said that the Abrahamic faith is based on fear. But isn't it your religion belief if you are bad, God will incarnate you as a bad thing, like a cockroach? Isn't it this is fear system too? And the funny is that you have a God, you become a rat. Why do you baptize a baby? Sin is evil no more. Like I said, Hinduism is a separate... No, my friend, you understand wrong. When we baptize the baby, first of all, in Christianity, uh, the baby is not the one to be do baptism to him. He should be a, 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 like more mature so he understands what he is uh, uh, you know, doing. However, there's many churches that do that because the Christian families, they fear that their child will die and he did not get the Holy Spirit blessing. But as we know that Jesus himself got baptism, not when he is a child. So you are having wrong understanding too. However, do you have a holy river? And this river you go and you wash yourself? Why you do that? Just do some good karma. Go sleep around with some unmarried women and let your wife find them for you. 
So all you know, uh, Hinduism is a, is a is a group of rituals to cover the evil. We do too much ritual, and we are superstition. This is the this is the biggest superstition religion. I mean, Muhammad, he said, if you enter the bathroom, shaitan will play with your anus. But in Hinduism, you have a million things like this. Everything in Hindus is a superstition. I can't even go anything to you know in, if I am a Hindu, because everything have an impact on me. My friend, I just learned the karma. As you see, the karma is that you let a man sleep with women, with, uh, he is married. Is that your law or making things up? Is that this, on the screen, is that your law? This is your website. Don't tell me about karma. They wanna give you speeches about karma. What karma? Too much karma, my friend, will kill you. Is that a good karma that the women, she have to be righteous and the man, he should not? So you want to lecture on me about good karma and bad karma, and then your religion teaching you that you can sleep around. And you don't have the same obligation, the same as the women. You really need to see some lectures on Hinduism. Then you will brain cells will work and would understand what karma really mean. Yes, karma mean that if a good man, he die, we burn his wife. If you are born of the Delti society, we rape your wife, we kidnap your daughter, and we treat, we treat you like a trash. This is a good karma. And a husband who have a good karma, he have not a duty to be faithful like his wife. Only the wife have to be faithful, brother. You remind me of Zachary Naik. Brother Titar. The deportation, his name is the Christian prince. He said that he needed to be wrong. I'm going to get him butted. First of all, if you listen to Thomas Kittel, you will see that karma is very good. What karma? You are teaching to abuse the women. Women, they cannot be independent. This is your law. Women have always to have a guardian. This is your law. As if she is a dog. If a man, he steal a woman, steal. And you want to give me a lecture about karma? Do you have one by the voice of Zachary Naik so we can listen to it better? Anna Maria saying, see, be. Be truthful. Not all people who call themselves are great. What does this have to do with my topic, Anna Maria? Are you drinking some vodka, Anna Maria? What does this have to do with my topic? Do who said that all the Christians are good? Anna Maria, don't get married. Your husband will jump from the window second night. In the best scenario, third night. Imagine she marry a Christian husband. And he is religious. And now Anna Maria, she wanna confront him. She said to him, Khabibi husband, do you know that not all good Christians are good? And the husband, he will say to himself, wow, that's deep. And he will say to you, hey, honey, Anna, for how long you were thinking about this? And then you will say to him, I have to take a yoga with Sadhguru. And actually Gandhi, he says you are that to the British people, you are not Christ-like. What? What does this have to do with our topic? Thank God I'm single. Oh boy. Men were not subjugated to the same standard. And if I am copying a website made by Muslims, you can say, well, this is a Muslim saying, this is your website. This is your web, this is your Hindu website. My friend, your, your defense is even worse. Why, why people are helping me? You see a Hindu, just to show you. 
Big Shama, don't don't be uh, uh, Sharma or sh Sharma. Don't be insulted by what I'm saying to you. I'm just being honest with you. People know me. I don't uh, I don't sugarcoat things. Look what you just said. You are welcome, by the way. Look what you just said. We are not like you, that you follow one only set of rules. We are free to follow many diverse teaching. Karma is in our personal factor, and it can change. You just, you just, you just gave me a. a, a I mean, I was using, I was, I was using nine millimeter. Now you gave me herbus panic, whatever they call it, missile. That's mean. That's mean. You messed up. You are truly messed up. We don't have one set of rules to follow. That's mean. Every scumbag he can play with you. Every guru he can change the rule. So if there's a guru, he's horny. He want money. He will sleep with your wife, and he will take your money, and he will teach you a teaching different from other guru. That's what you just said to me. We are free to follow the many diverse teaching. So you don't have a religion. And you don't have, actually, we know that you have a religion, but you have nothing. Because what you are saying to me, we are just, have a, we have a buffet. This guru, he says, you can sleep with women. The other guru, he says, you can sleep with your mom, not only the women. Now we have many diverse, or diverse guru. Which was the one we like? What is that? That is even more horrible. Did you think you fix it? You are the same as the Abdul. They come here to fix it, they make it blind. Like the other day, I was telling the Abdul that the Prophet, the, the Quran was under the pillow of the Prophet. The goat went in the bed and jumped in the top of the bed and flipped the Prophet and ate the Quran. The Abdul, he got me busted. He said, Christian Prince Kadhab, you are lying. It was not under the pillow. It was under the bed. I said, okay, Abdul, are you saying that your prophet, he used to put his ass in the top of the Quran? I mean, do you see how they can be busted? Christian Prince, you are a liar. The Hadith said, brother, that he was, the Quran was under the bed, not under the pillow. I was trying to make it look nicer, the guy, he put the Quran under the pillow because he respected, it turned to be that Muhammad, he put his ass on the Quran, not his head. And now the Muslims get me, you are doing the same. He got me busted, you got me busted too. Somebody is saying, how come Hindu scriptures like Vedas contain so much scientific knowledge? Just to show you another stupid comment. My friend, if somebody from NASA, he made a book full of science today, he must be God, for he have a lot of scientific facts. You idiot, religion is not meant to be a book of science. Is it science that there was a God, she did something and then she became a rat, and then we open a temple for the rat? And you are talking about science? Rat? A god who became a rat? And this is a scientific fact. I'm really convinced. Brother and sister, there was a God once upon the time. Did I tell you that you have to enter the Rat Temple barefoot? That's deep. Let us make it scientific fact. The Rat Temple. And be prepared to walk through the lot of Rat Poo? What? Rat food, dirt, and 
Okay, what is, what is that? What is the story behind this? Brother and sister, there was a god. The Karni Matara temple was one of the most unique experience we have ever had. If you were going to visit the temple, it might as well as be full of rat. Mm. Karni Mata information. Okay, what? Uh, there's a video here. But let me see why, what happened. I mean, there is a story behind this thing, right thing. What happened? Why? Just trying to find a story about this rat temple. <laughs> True story, brother. As our guide explained to us, the goddess Karna Mata was a part of a, ch a, ch a shrine, sh shrine, shrine clan in her lifetime. She lived to be 150 years old. It's almost close to, I am 149. And reminded young and beautiful, that's my grandma. Mm, she was 17 when she died. After her death, she became a rat. My grandmother, she did not become a rat, sadly. The followers of that, uh, whatever, this is religion, and you are talking about scientific fact. And the funny is that this religion make the elephant God, and then they put the elephant in chain. And they speak about spirituality and not to hurt animals. Even Sadhguru, he have a video about harming a tree. If you touch the wood, you can feel the wood. You can feel the tree. If you what? If you touch the wood, warning, if this tree anywhere near your house, and then Sadhguru, he tell you that if you cut the tree, you are hurting the tree. But we burn the women, the wife alive. We cast a two hundred million under our our feet, and now you are telling them about touching the wood. You can feel the wood. How to use the wood? They'll simply reject wood sometimes. And then we find that the same elephant who is God in one hand, they put him in chain, and they treat him as the worst treatment ever. What happened to the ones who they are spiritual? What is the guru? Is that a guru mercy act? What this animal, poor animal, did to you? So in one hand, we make him God. In other hand, we put him in a chain. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, I'm really convinced about the rat, you know, thing, you know, because, you know, once I used to have a rat here, like we are friends, you know, yeah, and then, but, but I don't know what happened to his head, suddenly he said that he met with Jibreel, and he became a prophet, huh. since then we became like we're not, not friends no more. So don't try to convince us. As you see, I mean, it, it's messed up. Everything you have is messed up. So, and you remember, I am making this video as a response to the lies against Christianity. You want to believe in your religion? No problem. You can say Christianity is false? No problem. But don't lie about us. Don't fabric, don't bring those foolish people lie about us.
What about your God, who come as a baby and needed a bumper? Well, can you show me that he needed a bumper? I can show you Buddha with bumper. Do you have a proof that my God, he needed a bumper? You don't have a proof. And my God, who came as a baby, is showing us actually different level of humanity. Jesus is the only one who come to us to bring us back to our human race. In Christ, a man, he loved his wife. In Christ, a man, he don't harm his wife. In Christ, the women, she did the same. In Christ, I love my enemy. So you are worried about my God come as a baby, but you forgot that this baby changed the world. If not the God of the Christians, you will be burning your wives and now in India. When the first time the Christian missionaries who you called them evil, they come to India, you were burning women alive. It was us, the Christians, who forced that stop. That is the truth. Uh, and you know, I, maybe I should make special videos for Sad Guru just to show you how stupid this guy is who play with words. You know, some people, they sound like smart for the idiot. But in fact, the second you listen carefully what this guy is saying, you will see how stupid he is. So this guy is saying to you, don't cut a tree. And he is sitting on a chair made from wood. I mean, do you see the stupidity? Don't cut the tree, brother. Because the couch you are sitting in is made from what? The door of your house is made from what? I mean, how far stupidity can go? And those people, they are listening to him. They don't see that this guy is sitting on a chair made of wood. Don't cut the tree. Don't cut the tree, brother. Be merciful and put a chain around the, the elephant. Mr. Snake, you see, you are a person who worships snakes, so you know, you, are, you, are, you are here just to insult, you are not worth my answer. Even you call yourself a snake. And the Lord, he says, we step on them. Those people, they are people of hypocrisy and foolishness. And those who listen to those gurus, they are a bunch of idiots. Because as you see, their logic is stupid. The same as this guru who he said that uh, uh, when Jesus said, I am the only way, he was talking about his present, as if that would make any different. His present, not his present, nothing changed. Because at that time, Hinduism was, was exist too. So if it was in his time saying, in his presence only, that means Hindus is false. And nothing changed. How many of you today, they promise to download the video and share it? Because as you see, Hindus, they are increasing, they're attacking Christianity, and they are even discriminating Christians. I remember seeing a story of four missionaries. They were burned alive in India. And they speak about the Muslim aggression. You don't do better. You burn them alive. Just because they are missionary. Where is your guru? 
Let us accept each other. Accept each other, and then we burn the Christians alive. And as long you have channel to attack Christianity, maybe I should create a channel specifically to expose Hinduism. Those are four people, five people. Look at them. The whole family. They burn them alive. What they did? What is their crime? There is a person saying Christianity is dying religion. My friend, if a Christianity is dying, we will not have tons of millions in India that are Christians right now. And they used to be Hindu. Good luck. That is the truth. Who more free? The one who has to follow only one Bible? We don't want to be. You see here, you see Mr. A big uh, Shar Sharma? I don't want to be again insulting, but your answer is, is stupid. Let me show you why. You are a person seeking freedom from the truth or seeking the truth. Because it can't be many truths, it has to be only one. If we are different in how we can receive the better place, let us say. You can call it heaven, you can call it wherever, wherever you want. It's impossible that all of us, we are right. A person who worship rats as God, and a person who believe that Jesus is God, We have belief, and either our belief is true, or somebody else believes is true. And when you say, who is more free? The one who has to follow only one Bible, or the one who open to different teaching? We are free, obviously, to the point your teaching says you can sleep around. But that is not a free from sin. That is addiction to sin. For me, your freedom is sin, is evil. So you are claiming now I'm free, I have many teaching, and I do not need to follow one book. So why you call it Hinduism? If Hinduism is not one, then there's no Hinduism. So why you lie to yourself? If there's many teaching, there's no one teaching them, there's no one Hinduism, and then there's no Hinduism. Because each one, we have to give a different name. And there's no way all of them they are right. So what you are seeking is free of stupidity. Oh, I can't be free like you. Simply, I'm free. Who said I'm not? Because I choose to believe in the Bible by my free will. In your system, you have a caste system. You don't even choose where you are. You don't choose the society. You don't even choose your job. You are a slave, my friend, and now you are more confused because you are saying, well, we have many teachers, I am free to choose whatever I want. I don't want that. I want one truthful teacher who will save me. Why we need many? And why they disagree? Either there is one savior or there is none. If you say there is no way it's called savior, then you are free. You live like an animal. Go. Then why you believe like if you are you know, you do something bad, God will make you a rat or a cockroach or what is that? I cannot wait to see Joe Biden become a rat. That would be nice. Or the king of Saudi became a cockroach. You know what? I think the fly I did kill yesterday, it was the previous king of Jordan. After life, 
God made him a fly because he was really a shitty person. You are free, always free, if you choose, if you have a choice. As you see in Hinduism, you don't have a choice. You have a choice between teachers, as you said. But this is just for you. That means you are seeking a benefit, what you like in the shelf. That's not a freedom, by the way. That is deception. For me, as a Christian, I can reject Jesus right now. Nobody's forcing me. I can say he's not God. I'm free. That's why Jesus said, Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do his will. So if you do his will, you choose from your point of a freedom to do his will. That now is your will. Is it to choose the will of God? For you, they are saying you, you can go sleep around. Your wife, she stay home. And they have no obligation of righteousness. And then you are telling me I'm free. I agree. You are free. You are a hippie. You are just a hippie. You choose faith over being faithful. What kind of book this book is? Married women have obligation to live in righteously and remain faithful to their husband. Men, they were not subjugated to the same standard. This is why you are saying I'm free. <laughs> well, good for you with your freedom. I don't want it. That is not a freedom. That is, that is you know, garbage. So don't be upset if your daughter, she get married, and then her husband sleep around. Well, this is your religion. He's free. You remember Muhammad? Muhammad, he said to the Muslim men, a Muslim man, he can marry divorce as much as he wish. He can marry up to four in the same time. And when Ali, he said, he want to marry someone additional to the daughter of Muhammad. Do you know what Muhammad said? He said, not my daughter. You cannot do that to my daughter. What the coward. Do you think Buddhism is a good religion? My friend, what's wrong with people? Well, is Hinduism is too much different from Buddhism? Don't you know how much they are connected? It's the same. There is a movie about the Dalai, Dalai Lama, you know, saying supposedly the true story, and this is made by people who support the Dalai Lama, his people. How they choose the Dalai Lama? The monks, they come to the house of the parents, and they have a child, and they would object belong to the previous Dalai. And if he choose the same object, he is the next Dalai. Why? Because God incarnate him as a good boy. <laughs> and then this boy became a Dalai. And then when somebody die, we cut him pieces, and we give him to the bird to eat him. You like to be a butcher? You, your father, he die, and you start cutting him pieces, and then you feed him to the birds, to the eagles? What is that? And then the Dalai Lama, he want to do poo, poo and he, he don't, he is not coming. So the monks, they made a circle around him, praying for his holiness, so the poo, poo will come easy. I mean, that makes sense. Go to the pharmacy, get him a little bill. He will have diarrhea. Or you call me, and you will have diarrhea right away too. Less than 10 minutes. Everything will come out. So my friend, I want to say thank you very much for being here. I'm not going to keep this video for long. Just download it as soon as we finish. As you know, I do not keep videos. Share it with your friends. Educate the Christians about what Hinduism is about. Because obviously they are trying to deceive you using yoga and etc. 
and there's many especially european those you know european they are really became so empty to the point they fell into such a, a silly stupid cult yeah hinduism is so beautiful i know don't you see i can sleep around i can beat my wife and if i die they will burn her with me and we put 200 millions under our shoes and the other 300 millions under the other shoes and everybody under somebody else's shoes because we have society of floors we are very beautiful brother we discriminate each other very beautiful society unbelievable i love it i'm going to move to india tomorrow and i will ask them to put in my id i am a brahma i feel i am brahma you see when i look in the dark if you see me in the dark, there's light coming from my face. True story, brother. Actually, when I go and work in the dark, I don't take a flashlight with me because I'm Brahma. Hmm. We are the highest level of society. We are holy, you know? Actually, all the Christmas light, you see those Christians? They take a Christmas light. This is from my nails. When I cut my nails, I sell them on eBay. And then they hang them on the tree. And they like thick flashlight, 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 you know, blue and green, etc. Because I have different colors, you know. Subhanallah. True story. Beautiful. Very beautiful. You got me. You got me. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you very much for being here. Don't forget to download the video. And if you are a person who likes to cheat in your wife, you don't want to feel guilty. Now you have one of two choices. Be a Hindu or be a Muslim. A Muslim can sleep to up four women in the same time and date unlimited in the same time. A Hindu, he have no limit. Choose one. Thank you. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran is mentioned. If this This book was from other than God. They would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without... Sorry, guys, you did not hear me. The microphone was off. I was saying this guy, he said you are picking up the darkness. And this is supposedly a smart answer. He just admitted that Hinduism is full of darkness. So it's not godly. It's not good. It's not, it's, it's not even suitable for a human being. You just admitted, you as a Hindu, you admitted that there is darkness in your religion. Why you have it? Where is the guru? So the guru, they are teaching you darkness? What kind of religion is full of darkness and you are complaining that I am picking only the darkness? Supposed to you have a good side of it, right? Mm. Look like I'm taking a selfie with the donkey from his ass side. May Allah ask you. Take care. Out contradictions that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, 
and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet That's tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him, 